Oh, he was <laughs> <laughs> The Manny cast. I was what? He was what? Josh told, said that yesterday that you had told him that he was boring on the Manny cast. He was cast, a little boring. <laughs> that wasn't the Josh I was uh, expecting. I wanted um, the way he is, you know, here and in the locker room and stuff like that, but can't always get what you want, I guess. Would you like to comment on your performance in the quarterback drills yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would. I would because I didn't know that was being filmed. And then I go in the locker room, and uh, Poe told me that it was filmed. And I was, I was very disappointed in the throw myself. Um, I had my, uh, my gloves were a little taped up, so I wasn't able to, to grab the ball like I wanted. But everybody knows I'm, a, I'm, I'm the backup quarterback around here. So it is what it is. Would you like us to let you know when it's going to be Please. filmed? And then you can, yeah. Please. We'll, get, we'll give you another chance. Thank you. Okay, all right. Thank you. In regards to the, the game, um, we're gonna talk about that. I guess a little. Um, what do you see from Trevor Lawrence? Solid, solid uh, young quarterback. Um, obviously, can get it done with with his arms, legs. Um, his arm is is you know what everyone's been talking about. He can make every throw on the field, and and obviously you know you see him back in his Clemson days doing the same thing. So you know you know, mechanically what type of quarterback he is. And he's probably one of the, the best mechanically, you know, quarterbacks I've seen, especially, you know, his age. Um, it's impressive to see. But, you know, he's learning and, and uh, you know, do some uh, do some picks early in the season. And, and I, I think he's kind of, you know, understanding the offense and, and, and knowing how this how this league is, you know, the, the speed and stuff like that. Really well disguise things and try to do that often. Is there even more of an emphasis to try to confuse a younger quarterback? Yeah, you know, yeah, the emphasis is every week, like you just mentioned. But um, you know, going against a young rookie quarterback that hasn't seen a lot, you know, of, of defenses. Obviously, you want to go out there and, and try to confuse them. Um, whether it's a vet or a rookie, you want to try to confuse them. So um, that's something we've been preparing for. But at the end of the day, you know, we still got to play our, play our defense, and if we have to get lined up and and execute well, then then we'll do that. Kind of crazy to look at just how much has changed and how far this team has come since that wild card game against the Jags. And 17? I guess it would be 18. The playoffs at 18. End of the 17 season. Yeah, it was, it was it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy to see, you know, what this organization has gotten to. You know, obviously we're, we're not, you know, where we want to be. But, um, you know, from the process of then to now, you know, we've come a long way. And it starts from the – Everybody from the top down, from the coaches to the players, um, you know, it's just high character guys in the in the building that are willing to work. Not that there wasn't then, um, but you know, I think with every organization, a new head coach, you got to kind of filter through some some uh, personnel and stuff like that, and kind of find your guys. So, you know, we've been able to do that the last couple of years, and like I said, the process of then till now is has been pretty remarkable. We've asked you pretty much every question about Jordan Poyer at this mm -hmm. point, right? Yeah, pretty much. Has there been anything that he's done this year that's even surprised you? Because he's he's starting to get that respect that we. I know you don't want to talk about that, but the respect that I think you know people locally have been giving him for years, but yeah. now it's starting to come national. If I, you know, I think that everybody on this team understands what Poe does for for this team, for this defense, um, and then you know he's been doing it for f going on five years. Um, so really nothing he does on the football field surprises any of us. Um, you know, we've been talking about him for, for plenty of years and and to see him, uh, you know, kind of grow as a man on and off the field is, has been awesome. But, you know, nothing that he does is, is kind of, you know, surprising to us. And, it's, it were, you know, we're glad to see that he's getting that national recognition. It should have been four or five years ago. But, um, you know, I think that at the end of the day, yeah, Poe doesn't really – he's going to keep working no matter what, you know, that type of guy he is. Micah, you guys were both mic'd up in last week's game, and Stefan Diggs talked about how Jordan called the pick. He said, I'm going to get the ball back for you, and then had his interception to pretty much yeah. end the game. I mean, I'm sure you guys do that. Like, I'm going to get a sack right here. I'm going to get an interception right here. But yeah. how crazy is it? is it when something like that actually comes to fruition? Um, you know what? you got to speak into existence. So... You know, I think every time we take the field, all of us are saying we're going to get a pick or we're going to get a sack, or whatever you just mentioned. You know, that's kind of the, it's kind of the mentality that we have. Um, you got to go out there and you got to think about the ball. And like I said, you got to speak into existence. So, you know, when something like that happens, obviously you say, I told you so, I told you so. Uh, <laughs> and I'm sure I've did that a thousand times and uh, not called it, but said I was going to go out there and get a pick. And then, 
um, actually got one. I'm, you know, kind of trying to tell everybody I'm a psychic, but really I do it every single time. So you know, that's kind of mentality that we have. You know, it's all about the football and, and uh, you know, put one out there and did it. Were you kind of like as a safety, you dream about those because like he saw it coming. Yeah. Um, a mile, yeah, a I was, minute, the yeah, ball was out of the face. I was, I was breaking to the post and I, and I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Um, I couldn't believe it. You know, I'm, I'm running to the middle. I'm like, there's no way. There is no way. And he, he threw it, and I was like, oh, my gosh, here it is. Uh, but this is just something we practice all week. And, you know, credit to the coaches, credit to, um, you know, all of us uh, being prepared and, and understanding what they're, what they're going to do. And um, it was a passing situation. So, you know, we, uh, we understood that and Poe was able to make a play.